Hello and welcome to our next Journal Club short um, with me, Dr. Marvin Firth and Nationwide Labs. And today I'm looking at the Veterinary Pathology Journal 2021 paper looking at age related arteriolar changes with lipid and amyloid deposits in the gonads of dogs. And this was brought to us by the pathologists working at the University of Tokyo. Um, again, after having the research idea, after looking at lots of testes and ovaries taken from dogs over a few years. Um, and noticing some changes that haven't really been reported. So the things that they were looking at were really quite relevant because especially in people, atherosclerosis um, can lead to things like ischemic heart disease, as well as myocardial and cerebral infarction. But this isn't something that's really commonly seen in domestic animals, um, apart from some species such as birds, rabbits and pigs. However, occasional spontaneous lesions in dogs with conditions such as hypothyroidism and hypercholesterolemia um, can mean that we can see heart spleen and urogenital atherosclerosis or atherosclerotic changes. And this is typically seen with histological changes where the arteries in particular um, have changes to their middle and um, uh, internal linings. And we can see things like lipid um, and infiltration of certain cells um, containing things like apolipoprotein, so a type of protein. Other changes um, such as inflammation and hyalinosis um, from deposition of certain material in the walls of these can also be seen. And so this can be considered as maybe a precursor to atherosclerosis in um, animals and people. The group looked at quite a large number of um, ovaries and testes from a wide range of ages of different animals and performed routine histopathology and used some special stains um, to be able to look at things like elastic content, um, lipids and certain proteins and amyloid within those vascular walls. And three pathologists did this um, to be able to hopefully increase the sensitivity of their findings. Immunohistochemistry was also performed to try and determine exactly what proteins were found there. And statistical analysis was also performed to see were other conditions or things like age also relevant. What was interesting for me is actually when they looked at these um, testes and ovaries, they used their archive material from a few years, and they found that there was a number of different other conditions also seen. So in the testes, things like seminiferous tubules would be smaller or degenerative. There'd also be things like tumours such as seminoma and interstitial cell tumours as well. And in the ovaries of female dogs, we would see certain types of cysts and things like persistent corpus luteum. They provided some really lovely images which showed us um, some of those typical changes. And what we can see here um, in the top image is quite extensive um, fibromuscular hypertrophy, which was a common feature in both the ovaries and testes of dogs. We'd also see things such as vasculitis, so the blue um, areas of this wall of this artery here, and certainly of the inset, um, we can see a mononuclear, so cells, which is quite a well defined circular nucleus, um, were kind of seen to be infiltrating. And again, this was seen in both um, the testes and ovaries of dogs when they looked back. Vacuolar changes can be appreciated here in the wall of this artery um, were also seen. And things like hyalinosis and um, you know, this kind of smudgy pink appearance of this arteriolar wall um, was also detected. Special kind of light and staining was also used to determine kind of things like amyloid and other types of proteins as well. Again, Lovely images showing exactly the same kind of features were also seen in the ovaries as well. Immunohistochemistry also looked at specific types of cells within um, the testes and ovaries and again showed us that there was actually quite a good proportion of both foamy type cells um, and from proliferation of smooth muscle actin, um, which is the alpha SMA in this case. Immunoreactivity also could help us work out the density of certain proteins there. And um, what was interesting is that the testes are only positive for one of those type of proteins, ApoE, and negative for all the other markers, whereas the um, uh, cytoplasmic immunoreactivity um, seen in the foamy cells of the ovaries had a greater variety of different um, apolipoproteins there as well. So really, again, when we're starting to look at these tissues, I think what I'll be looking for now going forward will be things such as the fibromuscular hypertrophy, signs of vasculitis or vacuolar change, and even hyalinosis as well. All of these things may be related to the development of atherosclerosis, as we can see sometimes in man. Um, 
And also from a statistical analysis, we realise again that ageing, again similar to man, is probably an important risk factor of these um, changes that we can see under the microscope.